Hello everyone, my name's Tommy and welcome to Does It Yum, the show where I taste test vegan and plant-based food and let you know if it's worth your hard earned dosh. We are back with some more this products. This isn't bacon. We've got some plant-based rashers, high in protein, vitamin B12 and iron, and proudly GMO free. Now I've got a pretty decent story about this pack of bacon rashers. I went into my local Waitrose to get the Richmond ones, which are my favorite rasher of bacon, to find out that they weren't on the shelf. And I went up to a very helpful lady who looked on the system and said, ah, oh, they have been marked for deletion. And she said, nope, I'm sorry, I'm not sure if they're gonna be coming in, it could be a change of product, blah, 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 blah. I said, okay, not to worry, I'll just get something else, no bother. And she said, I don't want any customers to leave here disappointed, and they gifted me. This isn't bacon rashers. So Waitrose, big up yourselves, awesome customer service. In fact, every time I go into a Waitrose, the people on the till are friendly and genuine. They always give good service, and I think they're a nice bunch of people. So well done, Waitrose definitely are keeping me as a customer. So cheers. Actually, you can see on the back here, I've got my, it's on me. Drinks on me. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So let's have a little look at this isn't bacon. We've got the traffic lights and we've got lots of green here and only one red. So I don't know if anyone else here, just when they're picking food, they just look at the traffic lights, ignore the calories and go green, Ooh, orange, mostly green, oh, there's a red. But if there's more green than red, it's generally good to go in my opinion. Let's flip her over. And we got a picture of two dudes at the bottom. This is Andy and Pete, it says. I guess these guys maybe invented this. Fair play, well, props to you two. We're Andy and Pete, and this came from inside our bearded heads. I see they're using cos and oh hey, it's very familiar language. They want us to be your friends. They're trying to connect to the average Joe, the person tapping around the internet. How to cook pan frying for three to five minutes or until crispy with a teaspoon of oil. Oh, let's just crack them open and have a quick look, shall we, before I stick them in the old frying pan. They're in a sort of a plastic pack wrapper filled with, I, I think, some kind of brine. Right, enough of that. Let's heat up the pan and sizzle some bacon and then have a little taste test and I can tell you if these are worth your hard earned dosh. Oh, they smell super good, really smoky. Here they are, look at those. Oh, they smell awesome. Oh God, I've got my, I've got my tongs in the, in my wrong hand. And the frying pan is, ah, shit, that is hot. Yeah, professional, I've done this before, you can tell. Okay, it's in the plate. Let's put this to one side. So we're at the up close and personal of the This Isn't Bacon, and man, it smells divine. There's a real rich, smoky smell coming off it. Mmm, it smells really authentic, really, really reminiscent of bacon cooking in the kitchen, which, you know, might not be a turn on for some people. If you really, if you really actually don't want food that is reminiscent of me, I've got a feeling this isn't gonna be for you. Oh, it's kinda, kinda warm enough to touch. <laughs> Okay, should we go? Oh, it's sticky. Mmm. Mmm, very sticky. Okay, let's go in. Let's go in. Let's try this. Mmm. Oh, yeah. There's like a flaky texture that real bacon kind of has that similar sort of composition. So when this goes in the mouth and you chew it, it has a very similar texture to bacon. Really, really similar. As, as you bite through it and you, and you start chewing it, it is spookily reminiscent of bacon. This would be great cut up into sort of little bits and put on top of a salad. Really great in a burger. Really great in a sarni. So now the big question, does this yum? It absolutely yums. It heckin yums, it yums as F. It is awesome. I'm gonna give this, oh, 4.5 out of five. I'm, uh, it's real good. I don't think it's a five out of five but it is really, really good. I think if it had have been shaped like the Richmond bacon and looked a bit like cartoon bacon, just for the charm effect, I would have given it five. 
but it is so, so tasty. Now, is it worth your hard-earned cash, your hard-earned cashish, the beer tokens? This comes in at £2.95, so not break it. Mm. It's punchy, but it's not breaking the bank. You got one, two, three, four, five, you got two, like a dozen rashers here. That's gonna do you a week. In fact, me, me and my girlfriend, we get through maybe one pack, will last us seven days for our sandwiches, putting on salads, cooking up in other, other foods. So yes, I think this is really good value for money. And also, I wanna thank Waitrose again for giving me this for free to stop me going away and being disappointed. Or oh, big shout out to Waitrose, that is rad. We like you Waitrose, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video and you wanna see me review more content, why don't you go and hit the subscribe button? It gives me a little bit of a buzz when you do it. It makes me wanna go and review more stuff. It lets me know that people are engaged and enjoying this content. And please, go into the comments below. Let me know what food you've had that's been delicious. Let me know what food you had has been disgusting. Let me know what you want me to review and I will go away and buy it and review it. So be safe, folks. I hope you have a great rest of the week. Take care and see y'all soon. Peace.